Stan Wolchek was a platoon leader with the 7th Infantry Division U.S. Army stationed on the American island of Attu off the coast of Alaska. In May of 1943, the United States attempted to retake the island, which had been under Japanese occupation since 1942. In the midst of battle, Wolchek came upon a mortally wounded U.S. soldier. He was coughing something terrible, and he was spitting blood all over. His whole chest was covered. And I thought to myself, geez, the worst is yet to come because he's going to feel lonesome because when you die, you die by yourself, no matter what. Now, what can we do to help? So I reached over, and I grasped his hand, and I gave it a squeeze to assure him that he was not alone. He acknowledged my presence by squeezing my hand. And then he died. Well, I left him, and I moved forward. We are on a fairly steep mountain side, and there was firing from my left, so I spotted my target, and I fired a couple rounds and began to reload, bringing my rifle down, and that's when I was wounded. I'm getting cold all over now. Then I thought to myself, geez, this is how persons die. You get cold all over. So I decided, well, as long as I'm going to die, I must well lower my head and close my eyes so I look pretty when those people pick me up. Wolchek was eventually rescued by two advancing American soldiers. While Wolchek survived, the casualties from the Battle of Attu Island were remarkably high. In the end, nearly 4,000 Americans were injured or killed. 